Good evening, I'm Zoe and I'm going to be leading us in night prayer this evening. It's a real privilege to be joining with you in prayer this Advent. And to begin our time of prayer, I'm going to light a candle. Perhaps you want to um, get a candle and light it with me. And as I light the candle, I'm going to say the words, the Lord is here. And if you want to reply, his spirit is with us. That would be awesome. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. I'm now going to read for us our psalm for today. Psalm 144. If you'd like, do turn with me in your Bibles to Psalm 144. Praise be to the rock, my Lord, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them, mere mortals that you think of them? They are like a breath, their days are like a fleeting shadow. Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and rout them. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver and rescue me for the mighty waters from the hand of the foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. I will sing a new song to you, my God. On the ten-string lyre, I will make music to you to the one who gives victory to kings, who delivers his servant David. From the deadly sword, deliver me. Rescue me from the hands of foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Then our sons in their youth will be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters will be like pillars, carved to adorn a palace. Our barns will be filled with every provision. Our sheep will increase by thousands, by tens of thousands in our fields. Our oxen will draw heavy loads. There will be no breaching of walls, no going into captivity, no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed is the people of whom this is true. Blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. Amen. I am now going to read from our devotion for Advent. We're on day seven. And um, funnily enough, today the reading is all about light shining in the darkness, um, which is kind of why we have this candle here to represent the light in the darkness that God is with us in in the waiting, in the waiting of Advent, in uh, the darkness that we see in our world. The seeming absence of God, actually, he is ever present. So I'll read from this uh, devotional book and we will have a time of prayer. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. John 1 verse 5. The darkness has not overcome the light, says John. Is that true? Is that how it feels in your neighbourhood, in your workplace, in your culture? Often it feels as if the darkness is overcoming. It feels as if the light is flickering and faltering like a failing flame. This is the verdict, says Jesus. Light has come into your world, but people have loved darkness instead of light because their deeds are evil. The darkness has not overcome the light, says John. Was that true at the cross? Walk while you have the light, says Jesus, before darkness overtakes you. The word overtake is the same as overcome here in chapter one, verse five. There was a moment when the darkness overcame that light and that moment was the cross. As Jesus hung on the cross, darkness overcame the whole land until three in the afternoon. That's Mark chapter 15, verse 33. 
the light of the world was covered over by darkness, and then light was extinguished. The the cross is the ultimate expression of human hatred of God. We constantly and consistently reject the light of God's revelation. Why? Because our deeds are evil. In other words, we don't want to face the reality of who we are. We don't want to change who we are. We don't want God to know because we prefer evil. Romans 1 verses 18 to 20 says that what may be known about God is plain to people because God has made it plain to them. But people suppress the truth by their wickedness. We do this every day by ignoring the light of God. And when the light of God came in human form, we murdered him. Maybe now we can be left to our dark and evil ways. But the light did not stay dead. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus, the light rose again at dawn on the third day. As the light of a new day broke, so the light of a new age dawned. I have come into the world as a light, he said, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. Here's the thing. Light always wins. It is an unequal contest. We know this from our own experience. Light and darkness are asymmetrical. Light dispels darkness simply by its presence, whereas darkness does not naturally extinguish light. You can't have a torch dark that casts a beam of darkness into the light, but a torch light casts light into the darkness, no matter how much darkness there is. Jesus says, put your trust in the light while there is still time, then you will become children of light. If you have put your trust in Jesus, the light, then you are a child of the light. And the darkness has not and will not overcome the children of light. The world does not stay in darkness. At Christmas, light entered the world. At Christmas services, we often read from Isaiah 9 verse 2, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. When the coming of the word, light broke into the darkness of this world. And with the resurrection of the word, God declared that light would never be extinguished. And in putting our faith in Jesus, we have been called out of darkness. We need never be overcome by the darkness. We can always live in light. There is never any need for, no, nor any excuse for returning to the darkness. I will now read a short excerpt for us to meditate on and leave moments of stoic silence for you to just sit and perhaps look at a candle or just be quiet. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome it. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings. Risen with healing in his wings. Mild he lays his glory by. Born that man no more may die. Born to raise the sons of earth. Born to give them second birth. Let us pray. Lord, you have given us your word for a light to shine upon our path. Grant us so to meditate on that word and follow its teaching, that we may find it in the light that shines more and more until the perfect day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Loving God, thank you for the light. Thank you for Jesus, who overcomes everything. 
I pray that you would give us confidence this evening that we are children of the light. I pray that we would see your your light and your goodness shine all the more this Advent season. I pray for many hearts to be touched by your light this Christmas through our online services, through one-to-one walks, through connections, through just showing a little love on the streets and wherever we go. Please help us to see that we are part of something bigger, spreading this love and this light to a world that so desperately needs it. Sustain us, Lord, when we feel tired and overcome by the darkness and help us to see your face, Jesus, full of light. Born that no one should die, but all should come to eternal life. I pray that there would be many testimonies this Christmas season of people coming to you. Amen. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemies. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessings always be upon us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace, in peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look to you, O Christ. And make yourself known to us. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.